This is note of skeleton. Dirty Vedra Six. Content. Reading reflection after reading Firehead Vedra, Holy Record Three. Vedra Yajini assists in the formation. Reading reflection by reading Firehead Vedra, Holy Record Three. Note of Huiqing, September the twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Attachment. On the day of the release of Firehead Vajra Holy Record 3, I read this miraculous classic with a feeling of anticipation in the morning. Opening the article, my face has been numb all the time, and the pressure inside my temples continues. I think the blessings of Master and One Sitra and Four Mantras are really powerful. Just by opening this article, I can feel the blessings and a sense of solemnity arises naturally. The production of the video has brought a shocking visual impact, joyful yet grateful, and grateful to the bodhisattvas behind the scenes for their efforts in production. The Dirty Vajra and the Bone Warriors touched me so much. I only remember holding balls of tissue in my hand and wiping the tears I left time and time again. Originally, Firehead Vajra was also a gentleman who could write poetry, and that gentleman harbored an unreachable deep affection towards his master. When the dirty Vajra severely punished the evil spirits who swaggered and deceived in the name of the master, I saw his courage and bravery again, with the shadow of the master in his body. When I read this article, the strong Isha shed tears and said, We've been waiting for this moment for too long. I cried sadly again. The purge movement, humanity is thriving, and the guardians of the spiritual world are waiting. They are brave and fearless, waiting for the leaders who can lead them to succeed. The leader have finally arrived, and there will be a group of brave people to help them in the future. I know that the ultimate beneficiaries are more of us, the suffering beings of humanity. Moreover, this passage states that all realms are the manifestation of the heart, and all are tests of mental strength. The warriors and bones of the spiritual realm are perched and exhausted like a single puff of energy. Especially in recent days, they feel exhausted and powerless. They are busy finishing their daily routine, and even fall asleep while looking at their phones. When people are tired, they can take a break. However, the brave bones of the perch movement do not stop for a moment. At noon, Master sent Terra Beast notes, and after reading them, my blood was boiling. With the blessing of heart mantra of Root Guru, the boiling blood flowed back into my heart, as cool as dew, crossing time and space and entering a realm full of evil. The emergence of green Terra brings strength and hope to tired soldiers, and the green, representing vitality, reignites the flame of wisdom for the lifeless battlefield. Thanks to the blessing of Green Terra, it has added morale to me and the White Bone Warriors. The battle of the White Bone Warriors has never stopped, and my heart is piercing. The Green Terra assists the White Bone Warriors in the battle, and the Peacock and Phoenix cooperate with the White Bone Warriors invincibly. When I am overcome, my spirit is uplift and I cannot help but tremble. They are fighting for us, and I can only silently shed tears because the people who give are always heartbreaking, but I can only enjoy the tranquility of time. I have come to understand a little more about Master's Enlightenment song, Where Does Life Come From? Where Does Death Go? I also have some expectations for death. When death come, I look forward to see the kind of great light that Master said. The lingering shadow that has been buried in my heart is facing death, afraid of someone's death and leaving, and sometimes I have evil thoughts that if someone dies, 
Will my pain recover soon? I always thought that the way to avoid suffering was to let it come earlier and face it earlier, so that I wouldn't be constantly troubled by such things and couldn't get out. My dark and selfish self has had such thoughts more than once. Just because I am afraid of the huge pain caused by the departure of the person closest to me. I was afraid of pain before, when I met my master who made me look forward to and bravely face death. The fear gradually dissipated, and various tricks were explained in his death. I was fortunate, so this rare treasure should benefit everyone, not just me. Master's death and all teachings contain profound mysteries. And the release of each holy record gathers the efforts and energy of Master and the Saints. What we can do is to promote and do our best. Gatha, Hui Qing Kong Xing, Wu Ji Wu Huang, Si Jiu Duo Lü, Ji Yu Chou Chang, Yong Wang Zhi Qian, Wu Wei Si Shang, Su Qing Yao Xie, Bai Ye Xing Wang. Vajrayajini assists in the formation. Attachment, Vajra 1-6, October the 1st, 2020. In the early morning dream, the master asked for a face-to-face -face meditation seat. In front of him was a master, and the Buddha's body above was also the master. Two masters, separated by a distance of 108,000 miles, watched at the same time. After enter into meditation, the upper and lower spaces merge into one without any distance. I have a similar mindset with my master, and there is no red tape at all. When I came up, I turned into a pillar of light and flew straight up, blending with my master's light. Then the master called B who was standing by and watching me meditate, to his side and explained in detail the differences and gaps between me and her. At 3 o'clock in the morning, when I woke up and lay down again, I suddenly found several Buddhas and Bodhisattvas standing in the sky. The rocks and windows were clearly closed, and a strong fragrance of osmanthus flowers lingered for several minutes with a fruity aroma. Remembering a Zen realm that never appeared yesterday, from cheeks to soles of feet, the whole body was covered in shining Sanskrit script. Last night when I slept, my body was like a prayer wheel, and as it turned, my body shone in Sanskrit, floating in circles towards the void on all sides. I will read the Ksitigarbha Sutra three times, Make up the work of two days ago and today. As usual, ignore similar fragments. I feel a bit tired, and during meditation, the baby whoosh becomes taller, bigger, and more transparent, blending with me. Visualizing master sit on top of the head, with a golden light of the void covering the entire head. With the swelling of the teeth, half of the seats are white bones with long fangs. Thank you for the baby's encouragement. Note of Vajra 1-6, October the 2nd, 2020. As usual, during meditation in the evening ritual, the head and neck are separated, and the head curve flies to explore millions of worlds. The observer is on top of his head, with a heavy golden light covering the entire head, providing a few times of up offering and down giving as well as up topping and up offering, which made me very comfortable and feels the light as before. Holding the mudra and reciting the scriptures, it was also great. This time, I didn't see the white bone protectors, and the void was filled with images of the gods and heavenly soldiers fighting with their weapons. At some point, the body sword stood in front of the chest and flew into the air straight into the battle zone. The golden light of the body sword shines immensely, and within the reach of the blade, the identity of the evil spirits, demons, and demons is instantly extinguished. Reciting the scriptures, 
I accidentally noticed that the grievances of the evil spirits condensed together and turned into a green liquid. They landed on my left and right legs separately, instantly seeping into my flesh and spreading towards my upper body, slightly suppressing but unable to stop it. The right retreat spreads quickly, and after shining brightly, he appears holding two swords. The toxin is about to retreat and move forward. I don't want baby to be too tired, so I decided to amputate both legs and only have a bare body above the buttocks. Golden Light Mantra Why did both legs return to the body? After various methods of pulling out the venom time and time again, there were still remnants that entered the bones, and the areas where they entered the bones became black in patches. Accompanied by a strong aroma of lime, a cup of lime water appeared in the left eye, and was poured onto the left and right legs respectively. The legs ignited a blue flame like gasoline for several seconds. When the fire naturally extinguishes, the white bones of both legs become hard, as white and shiny as porcelain. Heart Mantra of Root Guru is accompanied by a strong aroma of incense ash. A cup of incense ash water is pressed to the lips, and after drinking it, the white bones and leg bones of the whole body are as hard as porcelain. Finally, a large cup of fragrant grey water was poured from the top of the head, and after sprinkling, it turned into a golden body, emitting a sparkling golden light from the stars. Ha Mantra, the two eyeballs flew like rockets towards the four directions for a parade. When they were retracted, the two eyeballs and the eight stars and eight swords shone brightly like rubies. Pa Mantra I was bathed in the golden light, fireworks, and rain. Secret Mantra The skin and flesh melted and the bones showed white, but the skin on the face was unharmed, accompanied by a strong aroma of incense ash. A cup of dried incense ash splashed on the face, and after the skin and flesh disappeared, the facial bones were covered in incense ash. This, the white bone showed a somewhat awkward expression. Praise Gatha. Hai Mu Zhu Zhen. Sheng Xing Yan Yi. Jie Zhi Jing Shen. Bai Gu Yi Yi. Fa Wo Er Zhi. Chu Chu Shi Qi. Yi Du Kong Jian. 光耀天地